I think it's pertinent after international break to ask about injuries, but I think a lot of people saw you at Wembley and wondering if you're okay. Yeah, okay. All good. No problems there. No. More importantly, your players. I mean, clearly Luke Shaw, from a, a care point of view, is a, a difficult issue. What sort of state is he in, and uh, will he be available tomorrow uh, against Watford? I don't know. We still have a we still have a training session. Contrary to some some news, to some opinions, um, by the protocol point of view, and according to to our doctor. He will be free to play. The only situation we have to analyze is if you are going to play him when during the week he was not he was not training with the team, or if even so we decide to play him. What about other players coming back? Any any doubts there at all? Fellain is a doubt. Uh, and the Rever is out. He had one, <clears throat> one little problem in one ankle in training during the week. So he's also a doubt. Uh, Diogo Dalo and Marcos Rojo, they play tonight with the under-23s. And if they play the 90 minutes like we expect, then it will be the end of, of their um, recovering process. And we will consider them ready to to be back next week for uh, for full competition. <coughs> Just say Watford have had a 100% start to the season. What sort of a test are you expecting from them this weekend? It's clear. Four matches, 12 points. We know that three of these matches were were at home, so in relation to the 12 points Maybe we can speak about a little advantage in relation to other teams with two home, two away. But um, fantastic start. 12 points is is great for them. Good victories at, at home. Strong performances. Congratulations to, to Javi and to the players and to the club overall because it was a very good start. Marcus is obviously banned for this match and the coming domestic games, but what did you make of his performances over the international break? You know, speaking about Marcus, I think I, I can expect that Sunday I'm going to be highly criticised for not to play him tomorrow because some of the boys are... Um, are really obsessed with me and some of them they have I think a problem with some compulsive lies so I can expect that Sunday some of them they will wake up in the morning as always the first thing they think that comes to their mind is Jose Mourinho so I can imagine that um, that Sunday I'm going to be criticized by Marcus not to play but um, it's not my fault. He is suspended. So probably you should remind them that he's suspended and Sunday he cannot play. Performances with, um, with England, of course, I'm happy. Uh, he played well, he competed well, he scored. And especially in a period where... Um, he comes with some sadness after his suspension and was was very good that um, he did that. Um, if you don't mind to lose a couple of minutes with me, I'm going to do something not for you but for the the United fans. And uh, because I think I think I hold myself to the United fans and, and for them I'm going to spend two minutes with you. On the season 16-17, Marcus Rashford played 32 Premier League matches, 11 Europa League matches, including the final, three FA Cup matches, six League Cup matches, including the final, 
and the community shield. He had 53 appearances, but if you want to take to the minutes of play, he played 3068 minutes, and if you want to divide that by, by 90 minutes of the matches, he played 34.2 matches of 90 minutes on the 16-17. On the 17-18, he played 35 matches in the Premier League, 8 in the Champions League, 5 in the FA Cup, including the final, 3 League Cup matches, and the European Super Cup final. He played a total of 52 matches with 2,676 minutes. If you divide that by 90, gives 29.7 matches. So with me, in two seasons, he had 105 appearances, 5,744 minutes, 63.7 matches of 90 minutes, including five finals. So the people that is, is, is speaking and is speaking about these minutes, I think they, they are a bit confused. Um, Marcos Rashford is not Dominic Solanke, is not Ruben Loftusik, is not Dominic Calvin Lewin, is Marcus Rashford, Manchester United player, with an incredible number of appearances and an incredible number of minutes played at the highest level, at the highest level in the best possible competitions. So, Manchester United supporters, for you and just for you, to know what we are doing with Marcus Rashford, with Luke Shaw, with Jesse Lingard, with Scott McTominay. That's what we are doing here. Chelsea, clearly, from that, you've done some research, someone's done some research, it clearly irritates you that you, there is a perception about you that you don't develop no, your own players. It's not a perception. You know, some of, some of the persons... Uh, everybody knows that they have double salaries, uh, they work for, also for the clubs, and when they work also for the clubs, of course they are not independent, and of course they, they conduct things in the direction they want, to, they want to conduct things. That's obvious, and that's human, and that's natural. It's not ethical, but I accept, I accept clearly. Um, the ones that wake up in the morning, and the first thing that comes into their minds is uh, Jose Mourinho and Manchester United. I feel sorry for them because there are much more in interesting things to wake up and to be happy in the morning than, than to speak immediately about us and about, and about football. But for the Manchester United supporters, I think it's important. They have the, they have the right, the right uh, idea of how things are, are in in reality. But the most important thing of all is that the kid is a good kid, the kid is a good player, he knows what Manchester United did for him, uh, starting in the academy, then Mr. Van Gaal's support, then, then my support and the club support, and, and the new contract and the new shirt, and being selected for every single match since I am here. Marcus Rashford was selected for every single match. He was never, never one day out of selection because of my decision. Or because he was injured, or like in this case, because he is suspended. He was never, never out of, um, of uh, a selection. So he knows, and that's the most important thing. But again, media is very important. Um, and I think is is very important. The Manchester United supporters they know they know the the truth. That's why I'm going so so specific about these, these numbers. Okay, sorry, Who exactly sorry, is it that's annoyed sorry, you so much though about Josie Mourinho? 
José, uh, what do you make so far about Fred's progress and what does he have to do to succeed at United in the long term? You know, Fred's progress, I don't know because I don't see him for 15 days. And uh, the first time I'm going to see him after 15 days is, is now. Uh, 15 days he is gone, so I don't know about his progress. <laughs> Can I just ask you, you, you made the point that you feel there's a bit of an obsession about you. Who exactly are you talking about? No, the people that called me and asked me to fall at Wembley because they need news from me. So I made it on purpose <laughs> so you could you could speak a little bit <laughs> we were worried. about myself. A lot. We were worried you might hurt yourself. No. <laughs> you know. Okay, can we move on to the second part? Please? It was a good dive. It was brilliant. <laughs> it was a good dive, and I protect my, I protect my, my phones, <laughs> and, you know, it was good. No penalty, though.